Hi, I'm Tom Martino. You know, everyone has heard about green technology or clean technology, renewable energy. And we know that the industries are going nuts, but where are people coming from to fill those jobs? Uh, really, there is no place uh, until now to go specifically and exclusively for this green movement in education. Ecotech, um, Ecotech Institute wants to change that. Now, they have a college, and it's devoted to this. And what I like is that it is the first of its kind. And uh, Glenn Wilson is the dean of students. Glenn, let's talk about the whole industry. Where were people coming from before these colleges or before the education? Because you had all these jobs crop up. Sure, it's a great question. Uh, a lot of the people working in, in this industry came from manufacturing, came from other, other facilities. Learning on the job, kind Learning of. Learning on the job. And it took a long time to train them because in clean energy and renewable energy, a lot of the facilities are new, they're modern, and they use state-of-the-art technology. And so it took a long time to train them. So and you need to, and, and you, so if you go to college now, especially now, this is a new college in Denver, and if you go to this college to learn green technology or clean tech, as they call it, uh, you can really be ahead of the game right now. Sure, it really puts you to, to the top of the list as far as applying for jobs and, and getting those good jobs. The industry is growing. Uh, energy usage in the U.S. continues to grow. And you look at the portfolio of energy sources, uh, clean and renewable energies will continue to grow. So this gives them a chance to learn all the skills, the core skills they need, the technical skills on basic electricity, you know, PLCs, control theory, that is needed to support this sophisticated equipment. But it's, we're talking about a real college, too. I mean, we're, they, they learn whatever they would learn in a college with an emphasis on this, and they come out with a degree. Right. It's a two-year associate's degree. And we first of all start with the basic sciences and, you know, the math and so forth. And then they get a lot of engineering type courses. And then finally, they'll get specific courses in the field that they choose to study. It really prepares them for a career, not just a job, because they can work uh, in a changing field. As the technology changes, they'll have the knowledge uh, to continue to grow in the field. And we're talking about more than just a trade school. We're talking about the, the education, the academic uh, backgrounds. And, and we see your facility here as we're talking, and we saw the exterior. It was a beautiful shot. This used to be the Amazing Jake's up there, that, or whatever you call it, the, that, that big giant place for kids on, on 225. Right on, I-225 I in Mississippi. That's a beautiful giant facility. Yeah, it's so a great you location. you completely converted that. Yeah, we got to the building. We put in uh, some beautiful labs, nine beautiful labs, a lot of, a lot of classrooms that have the computers necessary for Look simulation. And, wow. And, 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 uh, and parking. Look right. at this. Here it is. Yeah, on-site parking. We also have a lot of, we practice what we preach. We have wind turbines, solar panels there, and energy efficiency models that we use at the facility as well. Now, how do people apply? Like any college? Sure. Uh, obviously, go to our website, uh, call the 800 number, and you can get uh, information. Tour? Uh, sure. It's very important to tour that. See what really differentiates us. See the money we've invested in the labs. Labs. You have a lot of labs. Right. Beautiful labs, state-of-the-art equipment. We've invested heavily in our faculty and our program directors as well. Some of the jobs people may be trained for. Director of Sustainability. Five years ago, that didn't exist. That's right. Uh, weatherization technicians. Uh, field uh, of service engineer or energy conservation specialist, solar advisors. Right. You can do technical skills or consulting skills. And there's something else you mentioned when we talked that, that really impressed me. You guys are really helping people get jobs because behind the education and the actual skills for green technology, you teach them stuff about soft skills. This is very important because it really makes a difference. Yeah, well, when we started the school, we first of all interviewed a lot of corporations that companies that will be hiring our students. And we asked them what was important. Not surprisingly, they emphasized that uh, students, when they graduate, uh, act professionally, come to work on time, have a good attitude, just be willing to adapt things. to change. Absolutely. But you teach those things because, I mean, just how to dress, how to protect themselves with pr protective clothing or dress appropriately, or if you're in a professional environment, how to dress professionally, showing up on time, right. manners, uh, teamwork, yeah. simple things. Teamwork is essential because almost any job, you'll be working with engineers, you'll be working with manufacturing, maintenance, salespeople. 
And if you can't communicate well, then you're not going to be nearly as valuable to that company and make them better. And I notice you work on teams here sometimes in your projects at school. Absolutely. That's every class we try to find ways to have students work in teams, work together collaboratively. See, that, that's a very good concept because you're teaching job skills. Exactly. Not, not just educating them, but teaching actual job skills. And the industry is growing. That's the good part. Yeah, it's growing at a very fast rate. It's growing here in Colorado, nationally, and, and throughout the world. And it says here in Colorado, it increased 30% uh, from 95 to 2007. That's correct. Yeah, there's just been a great growth of jobs, solar, wind, energy efficiency, a lot of uh, emerging fields. And not just in Colorado is it growing, although Colorado happens to be a center. If people want to stay here, there's a good chance they can stay here. Right, which is why we picked Colorado. A lot of good companies here, a lot of good people doing research, good legislative environment. Right. And then you also have, uh, you have the natural resources. There's good wind, solar, uh, good opportunity to implement those projects. And by the way, they probably will be opening more campuses. There are all kinds of uh, uh, things you need to know, like there is financial aid, like conventional college and uh, varying class schedules. Right. We have evening cohorts. We have That's day cohorts important. as well. A lot of our students uh, do work uh, in addition to coming to school, right. so we do what we can to accommodate them. If they're launching a new career, this is the place. Ecotech Institute, the local number is 303-586-5290. This call could change your life. Call and find out more about it. 303-586-5290. Learn in a new industry, completely new, where people aren't that educated. So you can get a leg up, 303-586-5290 or toll-free 877-326-5576, 877-326-5576, ecotechinstitute.com online, ecotechinstitute.com.